All right, in this video, I'm gonna go over the three mistakes that can destroy a man financially when it comes to child support. And the first is, if you are not married and you break up with the mother of your child, first things first, always get a DNA test. That's a separate thing, especially if there was infidelity, verify. But, she says, I just need you to help me with expenses. You don't need to pay. I'm not going to put you on child support. That's the phrase you hear sometimes. And she means it when she says it, but I'm telling you right now that two years from now, when you meet an amazing woman and suddenly you have this great relationship and you piss her off at some point, she's going to file for child support. And you know what's going to happen? They're going to ask, when did you break up? When did he move out? And they are going to calculate child support back all the way to when you left the home. And then you are going to be told you have $6,000 in back child support that's owed. And you're like, wait, I've been giving her half for expenses. Doesn't matter, okay? So what I recommend you do, let's address how do you correct this. You go online, you find your state child support calculator. You run the numbers and figure out what the child support obligation is. And if you give her any money, it is a check, a money order, and child support is written on it. And let's say you're giving her 200 a month, but you ran the calculator and you owe 400 a month, or you would owe 400 if it goes through child support, I would put that other 200 in a bank account because it's going to come due. Not if you're lower income and you are on and your child is on state insurance understand once she files child support they're also going to look to recoup those expenses as well so that number may be bigger do not make this mistake okay so that's mistake number one mistake number two is ever paying for anything in cash you could give her 500 a month for child support cash and she files for child support, none of that existed. And I'm not saying she's a bad person, but she is not going to say that she was given child support. I've seen it happen to men that I've worked with. Uh, I told one guy, because he used to give cash, it's a construction worker, this is a long time ago, I was like, dude, stop that, make it a money order, right on it, child support. Now with Venmo, if you're gonna Venmo her money, put in the notes, child support because if it isn't labeled child support, it didn't happen. Third big mistake men make is not wanting to use the state system where they just take it out of your check because it eliminates you having to deal with her. They take it out of your check, whether they pay her on time or there's a delay is not your problem. All that matters is that you had your child support taken out of the check. Personally, I lived in a state where child support was a well-run system. There is no way around it. I had 50-50 custody. It was a reasonable number, and I wanted them to take it out of my check. It avoided the whole having to send the check over and things like that. Something to keep in mind. The fourth critical mistake men make is talking about their finances with the ex. If your income goes up, she can ask for a child support adjustment. Do not put yourself at risk for unnecessary adjustments by telling her you got a big promotion, a raise, or you took a new job and now you're you know, making more money. I, I don't understand why guys talk about their personal finances with an ex, but these are the four things that can absolutely destroy you when it comes to child support, okay? And here's one last thing to keep in mind, and it's the bonus fifth thing men do that cost themselves fortunes in child support. If she makes more than you, you are entitled to child support. Don't let your ego, don't let your pride get into, well, I'm not going to take child support. I, I'm a guy. I don't need her money. Listen, I have yet to see a single case where a woman turned down child support. 
It's for the betterment of the child, brother. So here's what I want you to do. I want you to take child support. I want you to put it into a bank account. And I want you to use it for your kid's college, maybe buying a car, maybe other expenses like a camp that's a little pricey she wants you to send them to. And the, the final mistake men make is not having spelled out in the divorce decree how expenses will be split or shared post-divorce, even with child support. I, again, I see moms that get thousands in child support think you should be, and have primary custody, think you should be paying half of the expenses. And that's what the child support is for. Uh, not having language that says you have to agree to the expense okay so having a mom who can get a nanny instead of putting a child into preschool and then expecting you to foot the bill or instead of a reasonable preschool at your public school wanting to put it, your child into a private preschool that costs ten thousand dollars a semester now you're on the hook for half so these are some mistakes you can make down below is the link to the Failing Marriage Recovery Plan that is a free course we offer through Mentoring Men because we want to help men avoid divorce, save themselves, and maybe lead their wife to a version 2.0 loving, connected, and deeply intimate relationship. So take a look at that, brother, and join. If you want to reach out below, my contact information is below, and I'm more than happy to have a conversation with any man just reach out and remember this is a journey you're on and just because she says I want a divorce doesn't actually mean you're going to end up divorced that's what she's feeling right now all right catch you next week